What? What? Where am I? Oh, Betty Lou, you're awake. You've been in a coma for a year. I've been in a what? A coma. Well, that was the best dawn sleep I've ever had. Where's my smokes? So apparently I've been in a coma for the last year, and my good buddy from the EHPA, Fran, has been taking care of me because I don't have any medical insurance, and also I'm not allowed back in the hospital for some reasons I can't talk about legally. So after I woke up, Fran did take me to the doctor, and the doctor was asking me all these different questions about like what I remember before I went to my coma and all that. And well, one of the last things I remember is uh, after our last EHPA meeting, uh, me and Fran decided to start a rock and roll band because Fran plays a pretty mean axe, let me tell you. She learned from Hendrix himself back when she was dating him in 65. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold and she's buying the stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows it goes all close. She's got a few screws loose. I don't know about that. She's just Fran. That's how that gets them. Well, a lot of people ask, too, what, what the EHPA is really all about. And, uh, and not to be, again, confused with the European Heat Pump Association. As I said before, that is a very different organization. This is the Elderly Hippie Protection Association, okay? So what our association is really about when we get together in these meetings is, you know, we, we, we sit around and we try and connect with our inner selves and with each other and nature. And then we also try and uh, we get involved a lot in our community and, and the government. And we, we really just try and make ourselves known and out there to people. Because I think it's a very good organization. So anyways, back to what happened before my coma. The only other thing I remember before I went into that deep sleep, that was the best sleep I've ever had, was, um, Fran was telling me to try this, um, this new aging drink that she's been trying. Now, as you can see, Fran looks very good for her age, okay? So, and she says she drinks it every morning and every evening. So, I decided to give it a shot. Oh! <laughs> it smells worse than Woodstock! So oh, let's give this a shot. Mm. <coughs> oh god, that's terrible. Oh, needs vodka. Oh oh, 
And there's one more thing I remember doing before I woke up. And that was me and Fran were doing some yoga over at my house. Thank <laughs> you.